Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we studied how to create an array of all zeros and ones, identity matrices, and today we are going to get acquainted to random module in NumPy and its related methods. So let's get started. So first of all, what are random numbers? So random means something which can't be predicted with help of logic. It does not necessarily mean getting a different number every time or a different value every time. NumPy offers the module random to work with random numbers. Now let's try to understand the difference between true random and pseudo random. We all know that computers execute programs and programs are a set of instructions with definite meaning. So programs are used to implement some algorithms to solve specific problems. So there must be an algorithm to generate a random number. Now the question arises, if some algorithm or program is used to generate a random number, the random number generated with the help of algorithm can be predicted. So it's not true random because as per the definition of the random number, we can't predict random number with any kind of logic. So we can say that the random numbers generated by algorithms on our computers are not true randoms. They are referred to as pseudo randoms or false. Randoms. So whenever we work with randoms in our programs, we work with pseudo randoms. Now let's move on to the coding part. So let me write Python three, hit enter. Now let's generate a random number with type float and by using rand method. So we are going to generate a random number which will be of the type float and we'll do it with the help of rand method of the random module of numpy. So I'm going to import numpy as np and write x equal to random dot rand and hit enter. So here one thing to note is that it gives us an error because we have not imported the random module directly from NumPy. So we need to use NumPy alias with random and rand. So I'm going to write np.random.rand method and I'm going to print x now. So I got a random number. So note that this returns a random number between 0 to 1 and it's of the type float. So random number of the type float between 0 and 1. So now I'm going to show you another method to import random directly. So now let's import random directly. So we don't need to use NP in this case. We don't need an alias. We can just write random dot rand directly. So for that, we have to import the random module directly from NumPy. So in this case, I'm going to write from NumPy import random. So from NumPy import random. So now I can directly use random dot rand method and I don't need to write np dot random dot rand. So directly write random dot rand and print the value of variable in which you have stored the result. So I got the random number. So note that the values are different. So the values in both the cases are different because they are working with random numbers and it absolutely makes sense to get a different value each time we are calling the function. So we are getting different values 
and they are correct so there's an assignment for you generate a random number between 0 and 100 sorry it is 0 and 1 i have just missed the decimal and it should be of type float so today's lecture was an introduction to the random module and use of rand function in numpy that's all for today this video is brought to you by programming knowledge please like comment share subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture thank you